It's showtime. All right, welcome back to Coder, guys. This is part 16. I can't believe it's 16 parts. But uh, gonna talk to a bunch of teammates and uh, complete this mission for Bastila, the side story for Bastila. Uh, that's why I'm revisiting Tatooine today. Uh, but I will be going back to Tatooine quite a lot, actually. Uh, there's gonna be a bunch of other quests that I will end up doing later on. Uh, so I'll have to revisit Tatooine like two or three times at least. Uh, so for now, talking to mission. Uh, so this is actually gonna be my final video for this year. And then next year, I'm going to start like mid January uh, back with Coder. Uh, and hopefully by mid 2019, I will finish the entire game. Uh, this is just the highlights. If, if I did the whole entirety of the game, it would have taken me like whole next year. So most likely it's going to be mid uh, 2019 of next year. So uh, hopefully that goes well. But I'm going to be just doing a couple of movie reviews in. In the meantime, in de December, uh, happy holidays, everybody. And then, you know, start with back with Coder, you know, he and Lena were gonna try and make their fortune off world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me, and we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off tower. All right, so mission assumes that this lady who was with uh, Griff, her brother, uh, actually was using her brother to get her away from the planet, to get him away from the planet. Don't worry. So she's really pissed with Lena. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Okay. Alright, so the human woman she recognizes as someone who looks like Bastila. Her mother was supposed to be here somewhere. Ask if they've seen her. We should try to find her. I doubt she wants to be. I'm sorry, don't right, so this is Basila's mother. Don't you recognize me? What do you expect when I haven't so much as had a picture of you since you left? Do you know how long I've been trying to find you? You knew as well as I communication would be impossible once I joined the order. Now what is this about? Where is father? Then you haven't heard. I should have known. Has something happened to him? Are you going to tell me or not? Your father is dead, Bastila. That is part of the reason why I was looking for you. Dead? What happened? What did you do to him? Isn't this a lovely reunion? Already she's flinging insults at me. Tell me, you're one of her friends. Do you treat your mother this way? I'm sure Bastila feels the same way you do. She would prefer to be left out of it, at least until I'm as dead as her father is. I was told you were sick. Are you actually dying, or is this merely melodrama for my benefit? Such sweet things, you say. <sighs> Perhaps I should tell you everything first before we start. You could start by telling me what you got father into that killed him. I hadn't realized so she that assumes I that, since she hates her mother, you that it would obviously be her mother who would... You, you want know, to blame insinuate me the violence. Death. You never accepted that your father loved going on his treasure hunts, leaving you alone with me. I was always to blame for everything. What else is new? So yes, fine. I brought your father here to look for great dragon pearls. He took an expedition into the Tatooine Desert, and he died. How can you be sure of that? Do you think I would look for you if I wasn't sure? They were attacked by a great dragon, and one of the guides fled the battle. He saw your father killed. I see. So what do you want from me? Credits? Oh, don't be insulting. I want you to use those senses of yours. I want you to find him. I want you to bring back his holocron. Why? So you can sell it? Is it too much to ask that I have something to remember your father by? Of course it is, isn't it? You couldn't be bothered. We're very busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. Ask my companions if you doubt me.
It doesn't seem to have anything to do with what she's asked. What difference does it make to you? None, I'm sure. Just find your father's holocron, and you. That's the kind of response I would expect. All right, so we have to go to the crate dragon pit to find the body and get the holocron. I would check. So, as we leave, we actually find that Darth Bandon and a bunch of his goons are here as well, uh, meeting us, as well as, you know, how Kalonor did to us as well. You would expect Darth Bandon to be in another planet what too, to meet up with you, but he can actually meet Ready. you at the same planet if you actually travel yes. back and forth, um, somewhat like uh, how Kalonor did. So, it's kind of awkward, but uh, we'll be fighting Darth Bandon. At last, my search is over. I was beginning to fear someone else had killed you and deprived me of the... You may have defeated the pathetic bounty hunter my master sent after you, but you are no match for... Your words mean nothing to me, unless you wish to beg for your life. He's the one who killed our uh, first team. Um, so these guys are pretty easily, pretty uh, easy to beat. And for some reason, like, yet again, like Kalonor, uh, they sound like beasts. And he sounds like the beast again, which is so weird. So he has 3,000 credits, double bladed lightsaber, and his fiber armor. Alright, so the fiber armor, I will show off, is 5 plus 5 defense. It's upgradable versus fire. It's got a resistance. Back already? Have you even looked for the. I have the holocron, mother. I'm just not sure I want to give it to you. And why not? I've never denied you anything, Mother. You may think I don't remember what it was like before I left for the Order, but I do. You were the one who pushed Father to go on one treasure hunt after the other. You loved living in wealth. You think I don't remember the fights? You were eager to send me to the Jedi even though I didn't want to go. You took Father away from me. And now this holocron is all I have of him. Fool girl. You have a strange way of remembering things. That wasn't- No. I don't wish to argue with you anymore, Mother. It's time we parted ways now, for both our benefit. You don't know her. My mother is notoriously deceptive when she wants something. Why should she have- Is it too difficult to believe that I am a dying woman, who simply wishes to see her husband one last time? I find it difficult to believe anything you say, mother. shames me, but I just, I find it difficult to let go of the past. I, I'm sorry, Mother. I was hard on you, dear. I wasn't a very good mother to you. I know that. Your father loved you so. He wanted you to be just like him. He wanted to take you on his hunts, but I said they were too dangerous. I always tried to keep him from the dangerous ones, but he would have none of it. It was a reckless life we led always moving i didn't want that for you so that's why you gave me to the order what do your father and i have to show for all those years of hunting nothing that was no life for anyone especially not someone as gifted as you your father he spent all his last years trying to pay for my treatments that's why he went for the pearls i begged him not to but your treatments i'm dying bastard 
I did not lie about that. It's been a long time in the coming, and there's really nothing that can be done anymore. I told your father to let me go, but you know how he was. Stubborn, like you. I'm so sorry, Mother. I don't know what to say. Keep the holocron, Bastila. It would do me good to know you have it. This talking to you. This is what I really needed before. So this is really important for Bastila's character. This, you know, side quests you like this would it, really pave the way for Mass Effect to do stuff to like this. I didn't really like really explore it like in Coder like I did with Mass Effect. And I feel like these are just so important and add so much depth to these characters. Um, and just solving like their past, like re having a reconciliation of their past uh, demons and stuff. So it's really, really interesting. And I really like this quest a lot. Even though it's not that quite interesting, it's the dialogue is what brings it out the most between Helena and Bastila. It's just really beautiful stuff. I want to see you again, when we can talk. Oh, all right, I will. You do what you have to, Bastila. You go make your father and I proud. I'll try. Farewell, Mother. And we can talk to Bastila right away. Wow. How can I help? Does it feel better now? Yes. That brought me a lot of peace. Yep, More than see, I thought it would help. brings Basil a piece, and that's what's important for her character. All my training, I would have thought it It'll definitely help her out. Apparently, I still have much to learn. Alright, we will travel back. Uh, we got Baka Ceremonial Blade. Uh, I wanted to upgrade that. So, Darth Bandon's fiber, ar fiber armor, I wanted to show off. It's upgraded. Uh, Kalinor's armor is beastly. I really love it. Immunity to crystal, uh, critical hits and mind affecting, which is really important, actually. Uh, so I'm glad I have that. Cards Blaster, I'll upgrade a little bit. Um, I'll actually take out the upgrades for some of these blasters later on because um, they're really not important once you get deeper into the game. There's going to be better blasters. Got something so let's talk mind. to Joe Lee. You got yourself a fast little ship? <laughs> I forgot what engine sounded like. The or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket, anyway? How impatient can one person be? You must have driven your mother mad. All that gunk, you know, you remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny, all of that. Oh, very funny. Is it my fault that some people are so easily annoyed? like impatient little children with blasters. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yes, Andor Vex was his name. The force swirled around Ironically, him like a his last name is Vex. No, Never heard he of wouldn't him. have. Sometimes swirling force is just swirling force. It gets us whole Jedi's excited. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his I don't know. Are you overconfident? I hadn't noticed. Even if I had, I would... Let's see... Oh yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. And... Well, let's just say that I was a strapping young lad with a full head of hair and... Co I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians. But at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Grant has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning. And that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. Of course he did. Haven't you been listening? It was well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now, I'm not... And Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed too, or those could have just been gurgling noises. Finally, Krat has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around. <laughs> Maybe Andor hit something sensitive on the way down or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next. You're kidding. Everyone panics and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly, 
change the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd I hate you, old man. Well, now that's the ingratitude <laughs> of you. I relate an exciting Jolie and his so crazy fucking board. stories that really have no deeper meaning whatsoever. How oh my god. Let's talk to Pestel again. But why? I could not accomplish this on my own. I need the aid of others, especially one who is strong in the force. The bond between us made besides. The events on Taurus proved that the force wanted to bring us together for this mission. And there is little left to chance when the force is involved. Is that not enough for you? The force wants us to be together. Why do you keep resisting my undeniable charms? I said we were brought together for our mission to stop Malak. I hardly think the force would be pushing us toward a romantic involvement when the fate of the galaxy is at stake. Please try to stay focused. I doubt the council would approve if they knew we were busy discussing our mutual attraction when we should be saving the galaxy from Malak. Mutual attraction? I knew you were interested in me. Mutual attraction? I never said <laughs> it's just an expression. <laughs> whatever our feelings are. I mean, whatever <laughs> your feelings, you have to try to ignore them. She doesn't know them. what to say. Don't let this complicate things. Finding the missing pieces of the star maps is our only hope of locating the Star Forge and defeating Malak. The Council explained all this quite clearly. It just seems odd they would send me off without a master to guide me. And that's it. That's okay. I just love how Bastila is just like a straightforward Jedi character who doesn't know anything about romance and she just stumbles upon words like when you try to, um, you know, initiate and she just doesn't understand. She's just like so like stunned by that. I wondered if they were testing me to see if I was ready to become a Jedi Master myself. And then I realized how foolish such thoughts were. As the Council explained, sending a Master in our group would only have drawn on the fate of the galaxy is at stake. The council would not risk it merely. You must learn to trust in the wisdom of the council. Your destiny will come when it's appointed time. Must you be so frustrating? I admit, I had a moment of foolish pride, but I'm over it. Now I am focused on my true responsibilities. I'm simply trying to help you and complete this mission, and yet you battle me at every turn. What can I say? It's fun. Fun? Fun? Driving me insane <laughs> is your idea of a good time? <laughs> ah. Careful. Remember your self-control. You are a very odd man. Do you know that? I simply don't know how to deal with it. All I want to do is help you, but you seem determined to drive me mad. Complain all you want, but I know you love it. I don't know if I should be outraged that you keep joking about serious matters, or if I should be grateful that you can always lighten the mood. Come on, come. Let's move on. There's much to be done. So, as you can tell, we're actually in Dantooine right now. I thought by talking to the Masters, like, later on, that they would say some different things. But they really don't. So, uh, I'm just back here because there's actually some uh, important stuff I want to show off here. I know things, remember? You think you could make it around this part of the galaxy without me? But at any rate, I already told you why I wanted to leave. I'd seen everything... You live in an overgrown stump with a tax beating down your door, and you tell me how happy you would be. How many kilometer high trees can you find an interest in before you figure you've had enough? I'd bet you can't be bothered to stay in one room. And there's all the critters and the shadowlands. I'm just happy. So I could. But not having a ship does tend to put a damper on that kind of idea, however. I'll admit, for all its flaws, Kashik was home enough. But when you came along and I saw the destiny you had before you... Of course not. Weren't you listening last time? I can see that you have a destiny before... In fact, everything about you that I can see is odd. Slightly off. As if my eyes are trying to trick me. Something, but... Ah, I'm sure you don't need to hear my ruminate. Your future will come of its own accord, trust me. I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. 
You remind me a bit of Nomi. <laughs> that guy. Nomi Sunrider. She's uh, one of the main characters in Tales of the Jedi, my favorite comic series of all time. Jedi ever. Oh, fine, fine lass. Whether you'll follow the same path remains to be seen. For one thing, we'll never get anywhere oh if you God. stand I didn't around chatting bring you along for your amusement, you know. Oh, stop being such a baby. Are you always so quick to turn aside an ally? Got too many of them, do you? One thing I will say is that this little Ah, uh, no, no more stories. Adventuring days before the war. Or at least it would remind me of those times if we didn't stand around. What's keeping you? Too so weird. Be <laughs> shoo, shoo. All right, so we're actually going to be talking to this guy because he did talk about a uh, someone who was um, missing. So we actually have a stowaway who is speaks a Mandalorian, and we're just going to give him, uh, give her to him because the parents are looking for the little girl. Candorous <laughs> in the background. <laughs> So, I got some light side points, got experience points, and I completed the quest, so which is awesome. And we don't have to worry about the little girl anymore. Okay, so this is an important thing. Karth! Karth Onesi, is that you? Jordo? It is you, isn't it? I knew it when I laid eyes on you. You old space dog. How have you been? I thought for sure you'd be fighting on some ship out. I was. I crashed. <laughs> That's pretty rich. I can't imagine what it would take to keep you on the... Must have something to do with your friend here. So what are you doing here, Jordo? Last time I saw you was on, uh, well, Tilo. Yeah, it's a shame about home. Tilo still hasn't recovered. The family and I moved on, and I'm working for Zerka now. I didn't see you after... Uh, what I mean is, my condolences on your wife. I heard what happened. At least your boy made it through all right. My boy? Y you mean Dustal? Yes, of course. I saw him at my last stop on Korriban. Though he didn't recognize me. You didn't know he was there? No. Jordo, Dustal has been missing since the attack on Telos. Are you are you absolutely certain it was him? Yeah, I'd recognize Dustal anywhere. Positive. He's um he's joined the Sith, Garth. What do you mean he's joined the Sith? So Korriban is, is the next planet the we are going Korriban. to be visiting after this. So I'm excited to just delve into that lore and go into that some more. So if you guys have any questions on Korriban, just or anything whatsoever in Coder, just let me know in the comment section. I'll be be sure to answer them as best as I can. Good to see you again, Karth. Hope everything works out with Dustal. Dustal? Dustal is alive. We, we have to go to the Korriban Academy and find him. So I wanted to do these other planets first before getting into the whole new planet and going to other videos like that. So I'm going to stop right here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.